after finishing the bears, I will come to the elephants. Okay. So actually, we started with the bears because uh, this it's like a 400 year ago barbaric practice in India, when the like Mughals coming from Afghanistan to India for ruling over, they just try to watching the uh, dancing bear due to entertainment purpose. So there are some tribal people they are using the sloth bear and train them as a dancing performer. They just showing the dance of the bear and just it's the only part of it, their survival. They just like surviving by showing the dance, they are earning money. Mm -hmm. The tourists are coming, they just show the dance and they got some money. So this is the way of the survival of that community people. Yeah. So we stopped the whole dancing bear trade in India in just seven years from nice. 2002 to 2009. So this is Gail. She is having rheumatic disorder like arthritis. Oh. All these are dancing bears. That's what I'm saying. We'll start from there. The starting point is there, so that you can understand all this. And so they're rescued, right? No, the all are rescued. All are rescued from their from the Not from circus. Fate. Dancing bears Dancing on the streets. The streets. Oh. And they're all rescued and, and they're brought they here. Just pierce, oh, share those. Uh, their nose oh. and they will insert a rope. They'll make the bears to dance with the help. Because in 1997 we got a survey and we found that there are total like 1200 dancing beer on the street of India. Terrible. So you know what they are doing? They just simply buy a cups from the poachers and after just uh, buying they just pierce the muzzle part with a hot iron nail without giving any anesthesia and just break the canine teeth just to make the dominancy over the cubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whenever they just try to pull the rope, the bear getting pain. That due to that pain, the bear start jumping. And yeah. everybody termed as a bear dance. So this is a dancing bear trade in India. It's like 400 years ago. So from 2002, we started rescuing the bears. So from 2002 to 2009, we rescued like total 627 dancing bears from wow. all over the India. And now... 627,000? 627. Okay. Right. It's okay. Hi. It's alright. Who are you? It's alright. Who are you? It's okay. We're friendly. We love you. See. This is okay. I came and saw you guys. Oh my God. So. Now, no more dancing bear in India. Yeah. After 2009, nice. you can't see any dancing bear on the street of India. Yeah. That's great. And that's and down to use. That's mm -hmm. all because of yous. Yeah. yeah because of your company it. here? Yeah. 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 It's because ours. Yeah. So, actually, our government <coughs> made Wildlife Protection Act, Act in 1972 to just uh, stop this thing. Mm -hmm. Like, don't use any wild animal for commercial purpose or something like that, for earning a money. Yeah. But in from 1997 to 2002, nothing will happen. The people are using the bears, elephant, everything they are using. So that's why they take the organization take a step forward to just stop this thing. Yeah. So in 2002, in 2002 we start Agra Bear Rescue Facility. It's like 10 kilometers far from here. So right now we are having like 200 dancing bears in this facility. Oh, you yeah. have. Yeah. Well, like, Actually, we rescued 627 and we uh, like distribute all the bears in our four facility. We having four sloth bears. Wow. So like Agra, Bhopal, Bangalore and West Bengal. Right, These right. are our four facility. And you know, <laughs> bears, we rehabilitate that community people also. Because if we re rescue the bears, the people lose the job. So we have to think for that person mm -hmm. also. Right, you got the job. So right. what we are doing at a time of uh, rescue, those people are just coming and surrendering the bears. Mm -hmm. We gave a check of 50,000 rupees wow. as a rehabilitation package. And uh, after that, we just offer them, you can come and join wildlife as well and work as a keeper. Wow. So by that way, they got some new jobs job. and they That's got some awesome. amount of money for yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. And you know, for the community, for that community women, we gave some skill development program, nice. like some uh, training with like uh, some handmade training skills like, so they make some handmade items in the homes awesome and uh, we just try to put these items in our souvenir shop people like That's you are coming and buy those items the money will go for that project or like uh, can you say the name of this organization again wildlife sos wildlife sos yeah great so and even we are just uh, trying to take care of the kids also like the kids are the future if we are not teaching them or not awareing them then again they will do the same thing as the parents are doing right. because these community just following the tradition 
So by that way we educate the kids. Right now like more than 1600 kids are studying in Avalpur. Hmm. So right now like more than 1600 kids are studying in our project we are yeah. we are taking care of the books school fees and everything for them